So President Trump was asked about Obamagate, and he has been um, he's been tweeting this on the regular. And I have to admit, you guys already know this. I've spoken about this before, but one of my guilty pleasures is that I ca I laugh all the time. Whenever Trump does those tweets where it's like one or two words, like it's a very short tweet and it's like all caps with an exclamation point, I think it's the funniest thing in the world. I do. It's so, <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. He used to do this all the time with no collusion and he used to do it with witch hunt <laughs> and another one that he did was presidential harassment. <laughs> It'll be like 4 a.m. and you'll see a tweet from Trump, all caps, exclamation point, very short. I just think it's so funny. Well, the new one that he's all over on a regular basis. Oh, another one he did, which was uh, recently, of course, is social distancing. <laughs> he just screams it into the ether. Um, well, now he's doing Obamagate. He's tweeting it. And um, so he was asked by a reporter at one of his press conferences. He was asked, all right, cool, dude. So... What exactly is the crime that you're accusing him of? And his response is just so classic Trump being Trump. Mr. President, in one of your Mother's Day tweets, you appear to accuse President Obama of the biggest political crime in American history by yeah. far. Those were your words. What crime exactly are you accusing President Obama of committing? And do you believe the Justice Department should prosecute him? Uh, Obamagate. It's been going on for a long time. It's been going on from before I even got elected. And it's a disgrace that it happened. And if you look at what's gone on, and if you look at now all of this information that's being released, and from what I understand, that's only the beginning. Uh, some terrible things happened, and it should never be allowed to happen in our country again. And you'll be seeing what's going on over the next, over the coming weeks. But I, and I wish you'd write honestly about it. But unfortunately, you choose not to do so. Yeah, John, please. Crime. What is the crime exactly that uh, you're accusing him of? You know what the crime is. The crime is very obvious to everybody. All you have to do is read the newspapers, except yours. I love that. <laughs> I loved every second of that. Okay, so here's. Let me give you a little bit of the backstory how I came across this because I had been seeing over the past few days. Like, okay, when it comes to RussiaGate. Let's stop, let's stop playing around here. I was right. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I'm saying, I mean, it's, I know it sounds like I'm like, you know, insufferable and bragging and stuff, but I mean, it's true. I was dead right. Like I was saying all along, Mueller's going to get Dickie McGee's axe. Mueller got Dickie McGee's axe. And so basically, as soon as the Mueller report was released and we learned that there's no charges coming, there's no nothing. He didn't get Dickie McGee's axe. As soon as we learned that, I shut it off. I'm, I'm done with Russiagate. I moved on from it. I maybe have done one or two segments since the end, since, you know, the report came out. But I'm over it. Yes, I was right. You know, all of the idiot Democratic talking heads were wrong. There's only a handful of us who were right about it. You know, you can list them probably on one or two hands. Uh, me, Glenn Greenwald, Jimmy Dore, Aaron Maté, um... Michael Tracy was right on it. There's very, there were very few people who were correct about it who are nominally on the left, okay? Um, but I, as soon as it was over, it was over. I'm done with it. I'm moving on. I don't care, right? Well, now it's like kind of come back up a little bit because Michael Flynn, who the FBI went after for Russiagate, apparently news came out recently that he was kind of set up. He was kind of like entrapped. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't know if that's the right uh, description. But, like, basically, the FBI set him up. And so this is a story that broke recently. The right wing has been talking about it nonstop. Of course, the Democratic politicians who hyped up every single angle of Russiagate are not talking about it at all. And so I know that Obamagate has something to do with Mike Flynn. And I guess what they're trying to say is that Obama took part in setting up Michael Flynn and it was based on previous disagreements that they had had, because Flynn was also in Obama's administration, for those of you who don't know. So I know that when they talk about Obamagate, they're referring to Obama somehow going after Michael Flynn, and it's somehow connected to Russiagate, which we know now is, was all nonsense. 
So I think that's what Trump is referring to. I think that's what the right is referring to. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like I just told you, when Russiagate, when the Mueller report came out and it was a dud, I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm moving on from this. I haven't read or cared or thought about anything involving Russiagate since then because it's over. It's done. So I didn't read about exactly what the claim is against Obama and exactly what's uh, hashtag Obamagate. Um, so when the reporter asked Trump this question, I'm sitting there like, okay, I actually want to know. Like, yeah, what do you mean when you say Obamagate? What is Donald Trump's version of what Obamagate is? And how this is the biggest political scandal in American history or whatever he's saying, which by the way is hilarious. Even if everything that they're saying, the worst interpretation of what they're saying against Obama here with Flynn is true, I can think of a thousand things that are way worse. You know, like killing innocent civilians, for example. <laughs> okay, but I digress from that. So I was going, okay, let's see, Trump. I'm curious. What is Obamagate? I want to know. You tell me what your version of Obamagate is. And what does he do? Classic Trump answer. You know, when it comes to Obamagate, I have to tell you, it's been going on for a very long time. And it's been going on since before I got elected. It's a very unfortunate thing. Some terrible things happened. And you'll be learning about it over the next period of time. And, um... We'll be looking at it very strongly. <laughs> it was like all, all the Trump, like the Trumpisms, he squeezed them into one answer. As he said nothing. Bro, tell me what Obamagate is. A lot of bad things happened. A lot of terrible, terrible things happened. You know, and it's been happening since before I got elected. And we'll be looking at it very strongly. Things will be coming out over the next period of time. You read any newspaper about it, you'll learn about it, except yours because you're fake news. <laughs> So anyway, um, moral of the story is, I have no idea what he's talking about. I don't know the specifics of what he's talking about. And um, I don't think he does either. <laughs> I really don't. I just think he's maybe seen a couple Fox News segments where they say something about Obama setting up Flynn or whatever. And he's like, Obamagate, biggest political scandal of all uh, time. Like, really? You couldn't explain it in like a quick way there? It's almost like you don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. See, now to me, I'll wrap it up with this, but... You know what Obamagate is to me? Obamagate was a guy who ran on ending our wars, having a kill list, and increasing drone strikes, and kill, killing 90% innocent civilians. That's Obamagate. Obamagate is not prosecuting any torturers from the previous administration, not prosecuting, prosecuting any war criminals from the previous administration, not prosecuting any bankers for crashing the economy and giving us the subprime mortgage crisis and Great Recession. That, to me, is Obamagate. I could give you a million things that Barack Obama did that are inexcusable, wrong, and terrible. Those things are Obamagate to me. Uh, is it possible that he had something to do with setting up Mike Flynn? Sure. Does that crack the list of the top 10 things he's done that are egregious? No. I think stabbing Bernie in the back in the primary is even worse than that. <laughs> that's not to say the setting up Flynn, if it happened, that's not to say that's a, acceptable because it's not. Um, but it really is crazy, isn't it? How like every aspect of Russiagate really fell apart. Because there were stories about Flynn that were true and devastating about, you know, lobbying for the Turkish government because they were paying him and he didn't register as a foreign lobbyist or something like that. I remember covering the story at the time, but you know, Apparently, he was set up by the FBI in one way or another, but it's just so funny that Trump can't, he just can't explain it. He's just like, I know it's really, really bad, and I know it involves Obama, so I'm going to say it's Obamagate. 